students today we are going to start chapter 2 of first flight and the chapter is nelson mandela long walk to freedom and this uh, story has been written by nelson roli laha mandela that means written by nelson mandela himself okay and this uh, since is, this has been written by himself so this is a Uh, a a part of his own autobiography so what is autobiography auto means self and biography means a story so a story uh, of self uh, that has been written by oneself only by himself only so this uh, story that we are going to read today is a, a part of his book autograph autobiography and uh, he himself has written and has described few uh, moments of his life so uh, before we start with this chapter i want you to know about who is nelson mandela now nelson mandela belonged from south africa and uh, he is addressed as madiba Uh, and he belonged from the zosa clan uh, so zosa is the clan name that he belonged to the tribe that he belonged to was the zosa he belonged to the thembu royal family so he belonged from a royal family which whose name was thembu and he was the first president of democratic south africa that means uh, uh, um, i'll explain you when we do the chapter so Uh, after south africa uh, got freedom from uh, the british rule so he was the first president of democratic south africa okay now his whole life was a struggle for the fight of apartheid and for that he had stayed in the prison for 27 years and uh, the, this time of prison of 27 years for uh, as he fought for abolition of apartheid now what is apartheid apartheid is basically a racial discrimination on the basis of color of the skin that means a discrimination done on the basis of white skin and black skin uh, people were uh, discriminated and he fought against this discrimination which was done on the basis of the skin color and that was given the name apartheid so he f- f- remained in prison for 27 years he fought for 27 years with the whites to get an equal status so that the black could get an equal status with the white okay and that is the reason he is called as the father of south africa now when we say father of south africa you can very well understand that his popularity is not less than what uh, as popular as mahatma gandhi is in india so he is a leader who holds almost equal status as gandhi ji okay as we call gandhi ji as the father of india similarly nelson mandela is called as the father of south africa so now i'm going to start with the chapter and the chapter starts with 10th may dawn bright and clear now 10th may is the time that he is specifying and uh, the year is 1994 Now, why this year is special? Now, this year is special because South Africa became the first democratic country in this year. Okay, so uh, and the swearing ceremony is uh, going on, and Nelson Mandela will be sworn in as the first president of the f- first democratic uh, after uh, the struggle. The or with the britishers they have now got independence from the colonial rule of britishers and so the, it is going to be the first democratic country for south africa the first year for the democratic democracy and he is going to be sworn in as the president so that is why the this swearing ceremony is going on so he is uh, mentioning about a date 10th may and the year is 1994 
dawned bright and clear so this day was uh, started with brightness and there was clarity all around it was clear for the past few days i had pleasantly besieged by dignitaries and the world leaders who were coming to uh, pay their respect before the inauguration so besieged means surrounded closely and today many dignitaries dignitaries means respected people so respected people from all over the world those countries that had cut off all the relations with south africa because of this apartheid system today they have all come back to south africa in the swearing ceremony of uh, 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 of nelson mandela and in this swearing ceremony that is going to take place in the celebration that is going to take place in south africa the inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on south african soil so this inauguration this ceremony is going to be one of the largest gathering that south africa has ever seen and many many leaders have today come down to south africa for, uh, for congratulating south africa the ceremony took place in the lovely sandstone amphitheater formed by the union building in pretoria so uh, amphitheater is basically an open air theater made up of the sandstone and uh, the, uh, before this uh, um, uh, where did the ceremony take place so it took place in the sandstone amphitheater which is uh, uh, um, uh, the union building in the union building in pretoria for decades this has been the seat of white supremacy and now it was the site of rainbow gathering of different colors and nations for the installation of south africa first democratic non racial government so this is the reason because today's government that is going to be formed will be not of the whites those who were ruling till now it will be the first non racial government okay so it is not uh, it will not be a racial uh, 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 government that will be formed but it will be a non racial government the first non racial government is going to swear in so this uh, ceremony is very important and it has its own value and he say uh, says that for decades this has been the seat of white supremacy now decade means a time of 10 year so one decade means 10 year now he is using the word decades decades means there must be many many 10 years so that means for long for long time uh, this uh, government was run by the white supremacy white people that means the britishers and now it was the site of rainbow gathering of different colors and now today there is a rainbow gathering of different rainbow means how many colors seven colors so there is uh, uh, nelson mandela means to uh, uh, say that today different color uh, people from that means from all over the world the leaders have turned up to congratulate us and they have come and gathered here in the soil of south africa so rainbow gathering what is rainbow gathering now this is a figure of speech see there is no word like as used here so this is not a simile what is this this is a metaphor rainbow means colorful gathering colorful gathering now can a gathering be colorful so this is not a direct comparison here the comparison has been done in indirect way it is said that just as the rainbow has so many colors and it is beautiful in the same way the gathering of the leaders over here from different countries it, it is as auspicious and beautiful and memorable time for south africa uh, that lovely autumn day 
I was accompanied by my daughter Zenani. Now you have to look uh, the, at this word autumn. Autumn. Now we have seen that here on the first line he is mentioning it is tenth May. May time is summer time. Okay. If this is summer time, then why is he mentioning it as autumn? So some of you might be knowing, but then those who don't know, I'll just mention. Now we know that Africa lies in the southern hemisphere. and southern hemisphere has a uh, weathers just opposite to the northern hemisphere india lies in the northern hemisphere of the globe right so when it is summer in india it will be winter in south africa because south africa lies in the southern hemisphere so they have the opposite uh, 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 weather conditions okay in north africa and in in uh, northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere so that is the reason he is saying on that lovely autumn day i was accompanied by my daughter zenani so daughter's name is zenani and she is accompanying her father nelson mandela on the podium mr d clerk was first sworn as the second deputy president and then thabo mebki was sworn in as the first deputy president when it was my turn i pledged to obey and uphold the constitution so when nelson mandela got his turn he first pledged to obey the constitution and secondly what did he do and to devote myself in the well being of the republic of its people and secondly he devoted himself and he said that he will be working for the well being of the south african people to the assembled guests and the watching world i said and then he gave his speech so this story is basically the speech that he delivered there on his uh, first uh, uh, swearing in ceremony as a president so this story is basically of this speech only he said today all of us by our presence here confer glory and hope to newborn liberty so confer means to give he said that today all of us by our presence we have come here to give a uh, uh, pride glory congratulate uh, uh, to the newborn liberty and wish well hope means to wish well to the newborn liberty to this uh, uh, country who has got liberty just now out of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long what is the extraordinary human disaster that means the racial discrimination the apartheid that was carried on for too long for so many years so many decades now the society which is born uh, uh, out of this apartheid that society will be full of humanity so the society has already seen its bad times and after every bad time there is a good time so now it is our good time that has come to us and now since we have already tasted what is bad we know what is good so we are going to have a good life now we who are outlaws not so long have today been given the rare privilege to be the host of nations of the world in our own soil so he says we who are the outlaws outlaws means those countries who had ended their relation with south africa because of apartheid so they have severed their relations and they were no long uh, not so long ago and uh, they had ended and today what have they done have today given their rare privilege to the host and today they have given their honorable presence to the host who is the host south africa so to the nations of the world in their own soil so today we are proud this is just a way of welcoming the foreign countries that have come over there in the swearing ceremony we thank all of our distinguished international guests for having come to take possession with the people of our country of what is 
after all a common victory for justice for peace and for human dignity so mr nelson mandela he calls the this victory against apartheid as a common victory it's not a victory of only south africa he says that this is a victory of all people in the world all those people who were fighting for justice for peace and for respect human dignity human dignity means respect who were fighting for the respect of human beings so that the human beings should be uh, respected now why does he say so now we need to look back to history uh, for this because we all know how uh, severely the britishers have mismanaged the um, brown people in south africa as well as in india they have really ruled over this a uh, brown skin the dark skin they have made bonded laborers they have made them slaves they have literally uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, done so much of atrocities on people uh, not even respecting them as human beings not even considering them as human beings so much of atrocities was done so nelson mandela is Uh, today remembering all that and is saying that this fight that we had for apartheid was not only for south africa it is not only my country's fight it was a common victory for all the countries the victory for justice for peace for human dignity we have at least achieved a political emancipation so emancipation means freedom from restrictions and uh, uh, if you have heard about uh, gandhi ji's experience in south africa you must have heard those stories where once gandhi ji was traveling in a train and he had a first class ticket but he was thrown out of the compartment because he was traveling with a britisher and gandhi ji had a brown colored skin so he was an asian and he had a brown color skin and because of that he cannot travel with a white person so he was thrown out of the compartment now see that was uh, the restriction that uh, the dark skin people had they could not go to hotels they could not uh, move out in the street after a particular time they were not allowed to uh, enter certain places because they were black they were dark colored they were uh, g- not given higher post in the government jobs and all so a lot of uh, atrocities were done by the britishers by the white people so he says that today we have achieved our political freedom uh from all the restrictions that were that was uh, uh, put on us we pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation suffering uh, gender and race other discrimination so he says that today we liberate all our people from all sort of bondage har bhed bhav se hum sabko azadi dete hain kis cheez se poverty from poverty from deprivation deprivation means uh, giving the uh, uh, rightful uh, um, benefit so everyone uh, will be given rightful benefit now from the sufferings from gender whether he is male or female and all other discrimination har bhed bhav se aaj azadi milti hai okay never 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 again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another oppression means exploitation so he says that never never and never so he puts never thrice which figure of speech is this i want an answer from you all so you will tell me which figure of speech is this and you will message me down okay now this uh, he says that 
uh, uh, this will never happen anymore no one will be exploited now and we have uh, in this beautiful land of south africa he uh, says south africa to be a beautiful land and he says that no one in south africa will again experience all these exploitations that they have faced for decades now for over uh, 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 so many so many years hundreds and hundreds of years the sun shall never set on on glorious a uh, human achievement let freedom reign god bless africa so this is one of the part he says god bless africa and the sun shall never set on the so glorious a human achievement sun will never be able to make things more uh, uh, magnificent more glorious than this uh, today's ceremony uh, that we are having today okay